फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ महिमा लहरिया फ्रॉम विजयनगर कॉलेज हॉस्पेट वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल पैसिफिक केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द फिजिकल सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द वेव फंक्शंस सो नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट अवर टूडे टॉपिक दिस टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम द एटोमिक स्ट्रक्चर यूनिट ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री फॉर द बी एस सी फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर स्टूडेंट्स एज वी ऑलरेडी टॉक अबाउट द शोडेंजर वेव इक्वेशन एंड इन द शोडेंजर वेव इक्वेशन वी हैव कंसिडर्ड that an electron is moving as a wave and in that wave we know that each wave have have its own characteristics so what is the amplitude of the wave amplitude means it is the height of the crust or it will be the depth of the trough so here we can see that if we suppose there is one particle electron it is moving in a particular wave so at one time its probability will be very high in one region and in other region the probability will be very less means it can be positive it can be negative and other we can say that this is the place where we can say that there is no possibilities or probabilities of electron to present so this region is known as the node so we can say that if we talk about the wave function psi it can have the positive values it can have the negative values or it can also have the imaginary values as we can say that this psi is a wave function it has no significance why because it can have some imaginary values also but when we talk about the psi square so psi square is a real values they gives us the real values and we can say that the square of this psi is the probability of finding an electron in a certain area and in all the wave equations the square of the wave function have the physical significance means any wave function if suppose it's only the psi it does not have the physical significance but if we see the example of the light waves also the square of the wave function is proportional to the intensity of the light waves so similarly if we consider electron wave motion the square of the psi that is the psi square it is also having the physical significance and it is proportional to the electron density means what is the electron density it is the probability of finding an electron in around the nucleus that is only the electron density so we can say that greater is the electron density of a wave function greater is the probability of locating the electron at that point so as high the electron density of the wave function greater will be its probability of locating the electron at a particular point so psi square tells us the probability of finding an electron that is it tells us about the orbital so what psi square tells us it tells us about the probability of finding an electron so it tells us about the orbital of an atom where the electron is found that psi has no physical significance and psi square gives the probability of finding an electron in certain area and psi is an imaginary value that is it can be positive negative or imaginary so in order to avoid the imaginary values we use psi star in place of psi square psi into psi star in place of psi square where psi star is a complex conjugate of psi so students we can say that to avoid this imaginary values we are taking psi and psi psi star so psi star is a complex conjugate of the psi so we can see if suppose the electron is present around the nucleus in the three dimensional area and this can be termed as a uh, suppose the electron is, is placed in a small volume in a space that is the d tau so we can say that dx comma dy comma dz and equals to d tau where this d tau is a small this area around the nucleus where the electron can be present as psi is a complex number it's not a real so we use its complex conjugate as psi psi star in place of the psi square we can also say that psi psi star d tau gives the probability of finding the electron in the small volume d tau as i already explained it's a in the our d tau is a small volume around the nucleus where the electron can be found and psi star is a complex conjugate of the psi so psi may be positive negative or imaginary but the probability density that is the psi psi star is always positive and real 
if psi has real values so we can just say that if psi has a real values so it can be equals to psi star also so we can just replace the psi star in this equation and we can just write d uh, psi psi star d tau as a psi square d tau so we can say that mathematically if psi is said to be normalized if the electron is found to be exist in the limits between the negative infinity to positive infinity values so we can write it as minus infinity to the plus infinity psi psi star d tau equals to 1 so if we can we are saying that they have the psi has a normalized values it means that the values are infinite uh, are equals to 1 or unity when psi square has high values that means they are talking about the high electron density and this electron density region represents atomic orbital and if we say that psi square is equals to zero that is the node and where what is the node node is the region where the probability of finding an electron is zero now let us uh, see the nodes of a the significance of the wave function psi so i will uh, read it fast so you, if you want you can write or take the screenshots the wave function psi in the Schrodinger wave equation has no physical significance except it represents the amplitude of the electron wave however the psi square gives the probability of finding an electron of given energy e in a given region around the nucleus that is the orbital it represents a definite region in the 3d space around the nucleus where the probability of finding an electron is maximum Max Born, a German physicist, gave the statistical interpretation of the wave function psi and it also named it as a probability amplitude function and he is awarded the Nobel Prize for his work. Thus, the psi square at any point gives the probability of finding an electron at that point, that is the electron density at that point. Since the region around the nucleus represents the electron density at different points, they are called as orbitals. That's why wave functions for an electron in an atom is called as the orbital wave functions or atomic orbitals. So this must, this is all about the significance of the wave function psi. If you like my video, please share with your friends. Do subscribe my channel. The video of the second next part will be uploaded soon. Thanks for watching.